Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today it's time for another episode of Mopar News for October 2022, keeping you updated on what's going on in the world of Mopar. This was an extremely slow month for Mopar after a busy summer and what should be a busier winter, but I've dug around and found some info to keep you in the loop. So there's a bunch of cool stuff to cover today, like 2023 Durango information, a new Dodge wrap, some upcoming SEMA show sketches, the 2023 Jeep Avenger, a stunning resto mod elephant power Dumbo Charger, and more. So let's get started. Before we get into the video, I'd like to start by saying that I'm very excited to be working with Omaze to offer you the chance to win the all-electric Hummer EV Edition 1 while supporting a great cause, the Rebuilding Together organization. If you're interested, you can check out my link at omaze.com slash marshummer. So as I said, the sweepstakes consist of this beautiful Hummer EV Edition 1. This truck was built to go over anything, including the long three-year waiting line, which you'll skip ahead of. This thing has a massive presence on the road and also has a huge retail value of $112,595 US. The tri-motor system gives you 1,000 horsepower, a towing capacity of 7,500 pounds, and an insane 0-60 to time in just 3 seconds flat. An absolutely luxurious tank. So for your chance to win the all-electric Hummer EV Edition 1, go to omaze.com slash marshummer and enter now. Donations support the amazing work of rebuilding together. Omaze launched with the aim to create a different kind of fundraising platform, straying from the traditional charitable fundraising model. Omaze has a platform that gives everyone the chance to win exciting once-in-a-lifetime prizes while helping to make the world a better place at the same time. The Omaze community has raised over $150 million to support over 350 charities globally, and this is one that you would want to get in on. First, we have a very interesting move from Dodge. They're offering a limited-time Dodge High Impact Color Vehicle Wrap that comes with every single 2023 color available all in one. It's definitely a cool idea, but the wrap itself is really goofy looking and it takes away from the beautiful design of the car. It's available on the Challenger only at a cost of $3,700 US plus installation, and again it will include all 14 exterior colors for this year, including Plum Crazy on the front end. And this will fit all 2008 and up non-wide body or wide body Challengers. Next we can look to the upcoming 2022 SEMA show in Las Vegas. Both Ford and GM dropped out of the trade show this year, so all eyes will be on Mopar. We already know that Dodge is bringing a second version of their all-new Dodge Charger SRT Banshee EV concept, and Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskis says that that car will be a centerpiece for the Direct Connection brand to showcase how the aftermarket parts will operate with the electric vehicle portfolio. Mopar have also released a trio of teaser sketches for concept vehicles that we can expect to see at the show. So the first is a two-tone Jeep Wrangler Unlimited 4xe called Surge, the second is a Ram 1500 with several Mopar accessories, like perhaps a camper. And the third is a Ram 1500 TRX with a yellow and white looking paint scheme. So these sketches don't give a lot away, but they do build a little bit of excitement for when Mopar unveils some of these cars and concepts. So stay tuned to the channel this week for all your Mopar SEMA updates as the show runs from November 1st to 4th. The next vehicle really is a one of a kind, that being a custom 1968 Dodge Charger with the 426 Halifant Hemi crate engine under the hood. This is nicknamed the Dumbo Charger thanks to the destroyer grey paint and also the Halifant engine, so it doubles down on the elephant theme. The rear end has black stripes with a blue Halifant logo and a matching logo is found in the grille. Thanks to that 426 Hemi, the car makes 1000 horsepower and 950 pound feet of torque and it's serial numbered 50 out of 100. As if you didn't know, Mopar only made 100 of these 426 Hemi crate engines, and they sold out very quickly at a cost of $29,995 US. The engine is paired with a Magnum T56 6-speed manual transmission, and a strange engineering Dana 60 rear axle with a 4.1 rear axle ratio. To make it sound good, TTI stainless steel headers, Borla mufflers, and Kindigit cutouts were added. The Dumbo also features a suspension overhaul from Magnum Force, Viking coilovers, Willwood brakes, billet door handles, LED headlights and taillights, body colored bumpers, and Rushforth alley wheels. The inside of the car has a custom fiberglass center console with a vintage AC system, and digital gauges were added. There's no stereo, so you'll have to settle for the sound of the Hemi. This special Dumbo charger is headed to the Las Vegas Meekum auction from November 10th to 12th, and it should fetch a few hundred thousand dollars. If I had unlimited funds to spend on cars, this might just be my dream car to buy. Next, we can move on to the Dodge Durango. If you're wondering why you haven't seen any Hemi Orange packages on the road yet, it's because they're only just getting delivered to dealers. 
So these are 2022 Durango RTs with the Hemi Orange package. This package is now listed as a separate trim level on the Dodge website builder and comes with a cost of $53,983 US. There's also a Hemi Orange Plus and Hemi Orange Tow and Go package available. These models stand out from other Durangos with their orange and gunmetal hood stripes, midnight gray and orange badging, satin black taillights, and black noise 20 inch wheels. Inside there's a flat bottom steering wheel, SRT front seats, and second row captain's chairs with orange stitching and the Dodge Rombi logo in the seatbacks. Under the hood of course there's a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 with 360 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. The plus and tow and go packages just keep adding more features, like for example orange Brembo brake calipers, the details of which I'll post on screen. As for the Durango Hellcat, we now know the pricing for these beasts and they're not cheap. This year there are three packages including a Hellcat entry level package, a plus and a premium package. So the entry level Hellcat has an MSRP of 91185, the plus jumps up to 97185, and the premium is an astounding $102,085. And that's all before destination, taxes, title, and other fees. The Hellcat is listed as late availability, so I expect the ordering to start in early 2023. And if you were wondering, the previous 2021 Durango Hellcat was $80,995, so this is quite a massive increase in just a few years for almost the same vehicle. This next one I wanted to include because it could give some hints about the Dodge brand as well. Maserati has introduced their 2023 Gran Turismo, and with it a convertible called the Gran Cabrio. The powertrain options are the same for both. There are two versions of the twin turbocharged 3 liter Natuno V6, the 490 horsepower Modena, and the high performance 550 horsepower Trofeo. There's also a battery electric powertrain in both the Gran Cabrio and Gran Turismo Folgore. This uses 800 volt technology and has three powerful 300 kilowatt motors. The battery is able to continuously transmit 760 horsepower to the wheels. So this should be interesting to Dodge enthusiasts and fans because they claimed that their Charger Daytona Banshee concept also uses 800 volt technology, and I believe this could be one of their high performance powertrain options for the upcoming 2024 Dodge Charger and or Challenger. 760 horsepower will put it above the regular Hellcat, and it likely has increased performance with an all-wheel drive system. So that's just some food for thought there. Next we have the brand new Jeep Avenger. This is a subcompact B-segment SUV, so it's not available in North America, instead introduced in the European market. It marks the beginning of fully electric vehicles for the brand, as it's the first zero emission SUV for Jeep. This BUV segment is expected to reach 2.2 million sales in Europe for 2023, so Jeep wants to get in on the action with this entry level EV, and they expect it to be their top selling model by 2024. For power, the Avenger combines an electric motor and a battery. It uses a 400 volt electric powertrain that produces 156 horsepower and 192 pound feet of torque. The 54 kilowatt battery is able to deliver 249 miles of range during testing. The battery is compact and found under the front and rear seats and central tunnel. Using a fast public charger, 3 minutes gives you 18.6 miles, while it will take you 24 minutes to go from a 20% to 80% charge. And using a Mopar wall box or public station will take 5.5 hours from 0 to 100%. Compared to what North Americans are used to, this is a very small vehicle, just 160.6 inches long, which is 6.3 inches shorter than the already small Jeep Renegade. But otherwise it still looks like a Jeep with the iconic 7 slot grille, bulging fenders, 18 inch wheels, and a floating C-pillar. Europe has lots of small collisions and it's easy to ding your car on those tight roads, so Jeep has given this Avenger skid plates, 360 degree cladding, and headlights that are placed higher up for protection and encased with protection. The new SUV skid plates are also made from a special material where scratches won't cause visible damage, and in general, the cladding is higher for protection as well. The interior has a design to function premise, which is kind of another way of saying that they use the tiny space as best as they possibly can, but still, it's pretty nice inside. Your eyes are immediately drawn to the upper dashboard with a single colored horizontal functional beam with the air vents and Uconnect 5 system with a 10.25 inch touchscreen. The seats are vinyl with leather inserts in the backrest and headrest. Other features include a massage function, multicolor ambient lighting, and a wider sunroof. The Avenger does pack 34 liters of front storage, way higher than the 15 liter average for the segment. The same goes for the trunk with 380 liters of volume, among the best in the segment. The Avenger is also level 2 autonomous, which has features like adaptive cruise control, lane centering, and traffic jam assist. Finally, from now until November 30th, Jeep is offering the Avenger 1st Edition, this is fully equipped, but inexplicably Jeep is offering a turbocharged gas engine only for Italy and Spain, which totally contradicts the first zero emission SUV plans. 
makes no sense at all. This first edition will be two-tone, either sun or granite with a volcano roof. Other features include privacy glass, 18-inch aluminum wheels, full LED lights, a yellow dashboard fascia inside, premium heated black seats with yellow accents, and a hands-free power lift gate. Next is another Ram Special Edition, the 2023 Ram 1500 Built to Serve EMS Edition that honors emergency medical service personnel. It's based on the Bighorn or Lone Star Crew Cab, available in hydro blue or bright white, with either the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 or the 5.7 liter Hemi V8, and both of those engines have e-torque mild hybrid assist. These trucks cost $54,915. To set them apart, there are US flags and built-to-serve decals on the rear box sides, black front and rear bumpers, a black grille and surround, black badging, body color fender flares, black bezel LED headlights and taillights from the Rebel and Night Edition trucks, black wheel-to-wheel -wheel side steps, and a set of black 4-inch exhaust tips. The wheels are also the 20-inch aluminum wheel design from the Bighorn Black Package, but they're finished in a unique technical gray that's exclusive to these trucks. The built-to-serve edition gets a unique interior as well, featuring a built-to-serve instrument panel badge, deeply bolstered performance cloth and premium vinyl sports seats, black onyx chrome interior trim, all-weather rubber slush mats, optional lockable console storage, and blue accent stitching. And there are also embroidered Velcro patches on the front seats for the owner to attach their own patches or flags to personalize their truck. Next, I want to look at some awesome and breathtaking Mopar vehicles that are up for auction this month, and they all happen to be Dodge Vipers. I might even make this its own video or series in the future. But first up is a third gen Dodge Viper SRT10 Roadster, but not just any, but the rare Copperhead edition with just 300 units made. This is almost brand new in terms of mileage, with just 4,081 miles on the odometer at the time of sale. It has the Copperhead orange paint, staggered 18 by 10 inch and 19 by 13 inch polished forged aluminum wheels, and a manual convertible roof. Inside there is the serialized plaque that shows this car to be number 212 out of 300. There's also black leather seats with orange stitching. Under the hood, of course, is the 8.3 liter Viper V10 with 500 horsepower and the T56 Tremec 6 speed manual. 0 to 60 happens in around 3.9 seconds with a quarter mile time of 11.77 seconds. This gorgeous copperhead went for sale at the Mecham Auction in Chattanooga on October 14th to 15th, so about two weeks ago, and it sold for a whopping $77,000 US. Another mid October auction included the 1996 Dodge Viper GTS Coupe. This had the iconic Viper blue paint with stone white stripes and was a dream car for many enthusiasts. This one only had 4,661 original miles on it. Under the hood is the 8 liter Viper V10 with 450 horsepower and 490 pound feet of torque. This car has custom 19 inch HRE performance wheels, but the stock wheels also come with the car. It went to Mecham, Chicago from October 13 to 15th and sold for $82,500 US, narrowly beating out the Copperhead Edition. The third and final Viper that I wanted to talk about is a stunning 2017 Dodge Viper GTC ACR. There were only 31 of these built, and the GTC ACR Snakeskin Editions. There were only 31 of these built, and the GTC ACR Snakeskin Editions included a custom snakeskin pattern SRT stripe, an ACR package, extreme aero package, carbon ceramic brakes, the ACR interior, serialized instrument panel snakeskin badge, a custom car cover that matches the exterior paint scheme, the Extreme Aero package added a slightly different hood, front splitter with rods, dive planes, an adjustable rear wing, and carbon fiber rear diffuser. I couldn't find the horsepower number, but this Viper is powered by an 8.4 liter V10 that was modified during previous ownership by Calvo Motorsports with two 67mm turbochargers, an intercooler system, an upgraded rotating assembly, turbo smart billet wastegates and blow off valves, a high performance fuel system, and a Motec M1 ECU. The vehicle was previously owned by YouTuber StreetSpeed717, and he actually jumped over it with a Ram TRX. This Viper has just under 6,000 miles on it and sold for a whopping $370,000 US on October 6th. And last on our list today, Dodge CEO Tim Kaniskis talked about a partnership with the company Final Speed to offer licensed Mopar parts. And one interesting showpiece was the 1970 Dodge Charger carbon fiber body. Well, recently, the Direct Connection online catalog was updated, including that final speed carbon fiber charger. This custom rolling chassis will come with the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi V8 crate engine, and the customer can choose their transmissions and other options. This will cost a whopping $199,000 US. Direct Connection also has other planned future products, like individual carbon fiber hood and trunk panels, 
and other rolling chassis of the Plymouth Barracuda and Roadrunner. So if you're still watching, that's the end of this episode of Mopar News. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and let me know what was your favorite piece of news. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for all your Mopar content, and I'll see you in the next video.